Fulton County AG Fannie Willis is slamming the, quote, silly notion that her prosecution of former President Donald Trump should pause for the 2024 election. Willis told the AP that if the prosecutor finds that they violated the law, they have an ethical duty to bring forth charges. And so this is a silly notion to me that because one runs from office that your criminal case would stop. Meanwhile, Judge Tanya Chutkan has granted Donald Trump a stay of all proceedings in his D.C. election fraud case, writing that Trump's appeal on presidential immunity grounds has forced her hand. All pending deadlines and court dates in that case will be stayed. This means that the judge has temporarily paused all procedural deadlines while appeals play out, which could push back his March 2024 trial date per CNN. Trump made a remark that some may deem confusing during a rally in Iowa this week. He said the special counsel prosecuting him, Jack Smith, is trying to get a guilty plea from the Supreme Court. Let's watch. They want to try and get a guilty plea from the Supreme Court of the United States, which I can't imagine because you have presidential immunity. But strange things happen. Jack Smith dropped a new Trump bomb, according to Mediate. Smith filed a notice detailing evidence he plans to introduce against Trump, which reportedly includes cell phone data from inside the White House during the Capitol riot. So, look, it seems obvious to me that y- you don't necessarily you don't halt the proceedings because the person's running for president. I mean, that would create a actually perverse incentive in, in, in people facing serious criminal matters to run for president in order to get out of it. So that, that point is taken. Um, you know, Trump should be, Trump should be treated, there, there, should not, there should be neither like special protection afforded elite political leaders, nor should there be selective and biased persecutorial actions. And different people have different feelings about what this falls under. Yeah, what about this argument that he's making that uh, the the prosecutors are trying to get a, con- a, a conviction, basically, out of the Supreme Court? What does he mean by that? Because it seems the, the in actuality, it's benefiting his defense to have his March trial date delayed uh, while this is being worked out. Yes, if anything, the Supreme Court is working in his favor uh, for two reasons. For that reason, that it will actually delay that trial while we resolve the uh, presidential immunity question. And then also the Supreme Court, as we reported um, yesterday, is going to weigh in on um, on whether uh, the obstruction of a of a um, of a of official event mm-hmm. that many of the January six people were charged with were charged with that, and that is one of Jack Smith's indictments against Trump, uh, whether the uh, the interfering with an, uh, an official act. The Supreme Court is going to decide whether that is a legitimate application of the statute. So. If they decide that it is, then that aspect of the prosecution will just continue. If they decide that it isn't, then you've got to knock two of the indictments against Trump, two of the charges under the under the uh, federal indictment, I should say, were for were for obstructing an official event and conspiracy to do so with collaborators. So that would actually. So the, the Supreme Court is, I think, far from the the body most likely to doom Trump. It could uh, it could mitigate some of the. Um, harms he's suffering. Yeah, I, I, which I should, which might be perfectly fair. I should say, uh, I, I'm not persuaded that this statute was, in fact, applied correctly. It seems even people who think that Trump has some underlying degree of criminality are a bit mixed on it. Yeah, it, it's confusing. When you look at uh, Trump's full or fuller remarks, he seems to be indicating that this, these, these cases could have been brought years ago. We could have had the Supreme Court resolution a long time ago, and now they're trying to rush it because of the election. It's not clear to me that bringing the case years ago would have, again, helped Donald Trump, since if successful, it would have completely precluded his ability to run for president, depending on the outcome, as opposed to doing it now, where they are rushing up against the deadline of the election having happened. I I don't know if he's confused or if he's confused about what the Supreme Court is actually overseeing now, because it really does seem to be advantaging him in significant ways. Um, and it also does, I think, frankly, give Chuck Ken some credibility. Again, every judge in this case, if they're uh, appointed by a liberal, has been um, kind of smeared as uh, biased and a part of a pogrom against Donald Trump. This seems to be a pretty straight application of the law. She says, her, you know, her hands are tied. This is what's yeah, going to happen. You, you got to you got to wait it out. So it'll be interesting to see uh, what the Supreme Court says about this. The presidential immunity question is really um, the bigger one. But again, per you know, getting back to Trump's statements, it's not um, conclusive. Uh, so 
Uh, we'll see what happens with all of these four indictments. We'll, we'll continue to track them, obviously. Um, and luckily for us, Donald Trump is uh, very open to letting us know exactly what is on his mind as all of these developments unfold. We will be covering it. We will let you know what he says as it happens. More Rising right after this.